Hey friends, if you are still copy pasting your Excel data to combine or match tables, please stop right there. In this video, I'll show you how to use Power Query's append and merge features the correct and professional way using a real world office example. We will solve two very common problems. How to combine multiple expense files from different time periods and how to match employee data into your expense report. Both are super useful and once you learn this, you will never go back to manual work again. So first let's talk about append. If you see, I have two files, expense 2022 and expense 2023. They have the same columns, things like report ID, employee ID, etc. Now imagine you want to analyze total spend or build a dashboard using both years together. You might think of copy pasting the data in one sheet, but don't do that. Power Query gives you a clean and dynamic way to do it. Let's go step by step. Open a new file by pressing Ctrl n your excel file will open go to data get data from file from excel workbook choose your workbook you will see a navigator page will open select on the multiple options so you can select both the things together select both the things click on the transform data a power query editor page will open now and now you want to append it for that come to the append queries scroll down Instead of first one, choose the second one so that your original data stay as it is. Append query as a new and now you can append it. Since you have two tables, you can append from expense to the second table expense 2023. But let me show you if there are three or more tables, how it looks like. When I click here, you will see available tables are here. Now, suppose if you have 2024, 2025, you can just click this uh, add button will open, add it and it will get added. And if you want to remove it, click here and delete this and it gets removed. So let's go to the two table from 2022, 2023 is the second table. Say OK and you can do a double click here and give the name expense data. Then you have combined both data sets into one single table. Bonus tip, if you want to know which row came from 2022 or 2023 later, here is the trick. Go to the each table for expense 2022, click here, click on the custom column and here you can just put year and here you can open a string and say 2022 close the string and say ok. Now come to 2023, click on again custom column year and here you can give in strings 2023 and you can see no syntax errors have been detected. So our formula is right. Say ok. Now come to your expense data and you will see that automatically a new column is added with the year and now you know 2022 data is here and 2023 data is here. Also remember power query is case sensitive. For example, if I come to 2022 in this year column, I will change this YEAR to small letters YEAR instead of Y capital, I'll make it small for 2022. Now let's go to the expense data and see what it happens. It works fine, but then it creates two columns of year, one with small year, one with big year. And for the small year, it will give you 2022. And if you go down for 2023, it will show you null. And whereas for the capital letter year, the 2022 will be null and the 2023 will be shown. So you can just come back here and then do a double click and write again YER, Y capital. Now come to expense data and you will see automatically that column is gone and you have only one column. So remember power query is very case sensitive even with the capital letters. One more thing, suppose 2022 doesn't have a column of expense data. Just remove it for now and now come to expense data. It doesn't matter. Your data still will be added and for the expense data for the 2022 it will show null but for the 2023 you will get the data so it doesn't matter how many columns you have you don't have to have a similar column but you have to have a similar headers and one more very good part with the append power query is suppose in 2022 this report id is somewhere here after payment method it doesn't matter 2023 doesn't needs to be in the same way. Column orders can be different. Power query will automatically deduct because the headers are same and it will give you the correct data by report ID having report ID of 2022 and 2023. Suppose if you want to validate your append query, basically you want to make sure that all the rows were added from 2022 and 2023. What you can do is you can come to view, check this column profile, highlight this and this will open. And here you can see count is 90. But you have to come here column profiling based on the entire data set. If this is checked in column profile based on top 1000 rows, then it will give you only for the first 1000 rows. So make sure column profile based on the entire data set is selected and you will get to know all the counts like, okay, there are 90. So you know that it's correct. Now let's move to merge where we combine details from two different tables. I have the expense data and employee data. First, we'll take this into a transform data by selecting the multiple files options. You will notice that employee data doesn't have the column headers that can be sorted very easily. Click on the transform data. A power query editor page will open for you. For the employee data, first we'll correct this part. Just use first row as header. Click on this and this is sorted. Okay. Now go to the merge queries. Merge query 
has a new in this we want to merge expense data with the employee data and you have to make sure that at least one column is common in both the tables for us it is employee id so i'll choose employee id and you will see that the selection matches five or five rows from the first table i'll say okay you will see a table is added for the employee data now i'll click here in this I'll remove this use original column name as prefix. If I don't remove it, what will happen? I'll show you. You will see the employee ID before employee ID. You get a name employee data. That is the sheet name of this. We don't want like that. Okay. So we'll click on this table again and we'll uncheck this. We don't want employee name. We don't want employee ID as well, but for our tutorial, we'll keep this and I'll say, okay. And now you will see both the matches were perfect from 01 to 05 so we got the details for the employee data department and also we got the details for the region i see that employee data is added but it shouldn't be let's see what happened so i'll just cancel this i'll take this again maybe i forgot to uncheck this and i'll not take employee name and i'll say okay and this is sorted we got dot one because we have two employee ids now what happens if one id is wrong let's change one employee id in expense data i'll go to the expense data and i'll change this employee id when you're in power query you can't do double click and change it for this you have to do a right click replace value and from emp005 let's take emp x05 let's do a normal change and see what happens i'll say okay now i'll come to my merge data and you will see that from the expense table we have all the rows and from the employee table all rows from the first expense table stay and matching info from the second employee table is added wherever possible and if there is no match you will see a blank blank is nothing but null it is best when your main data is your expense file so you have all the data from the expense file and why this happened let me show you let's go to the source because there was a left outer join selected now we have right outer join also we'll see how to do that for that i'll just cancel this one i'll again go to source and this time instead of left i'll choose right outer join now let's go to this table uncheck this employee name say okay now it's a reverse from the employee data everything stays and from the expense data it gets matches whatever possible is there if it is no match then it will give us null now let's go to the source again check what is full outers i'll say okay i'll click on the table and i'll just remove the employee name now what full outer does is it will keep both the data from the both the tables and wherever the data doesn't matches it gives us none and this is very useful when you are doing a full audit and you will clearly find out where is the mismatch now let's again go to source and this time let's choose inner and say okay now let's go to the table remove the employee name and say okay only rows that exist in both the tables are kept so if one id is wrong or missing that row is completely dropped from both the tables use inner join only when you're sure both tables are clean and fully matched now we can fix that employee id x05 issue without editing it we will use a fuzzy match for that and go to the source file let's keep it as a left outer click on use fuzzy matching to perform the merge you will see options get open open this one similarity threshold what this does is it's from 0 to 1 so how low you use the easy match it becomes and how high you use the match becomes more tough suppose it's 0 to 1 so if you use 0 0.1 let me use 0 0.1 for using this 0 0.1 i have to click this use for the match this will open now i'll say 0 0.1 and you will see that it easily matched five or five rows now suppose if i take 0 0.7 it again matched it but suppose if i take 0 0.95 it has become very strict in matching so it is not considering even that little change so for now if i take 0 0.94 and i'll scroll down and i'll keep this always as one as a value you can easily see that here it says five or five rows match but when i say okay and i'll come to the table remove the employee name for now and say okay and you will see it considered the little mistake in the employee id and gave us the correct results so today we learned how to append two data sets cleanly using power query how to merge two tables by matching keys the difference between all join types and how to use a fuzzy match to handle typos or close matches if you found this helpful please give the video a thumbs up comment if you want the practice file and subscribe for more real office tutorial in excel and power bi i'll see you in the next one thank you so much